Welcome to Class Firearms, guys. Kai over here, and today I've got something really cool for you guys. I'm actually very excited about this. What you see here in front of me is Barrett MRAD Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. MRAD stands for Multi Role Adaptive Design. Now, this is the official sniper rifle for US Military, US Army SOCOM, Special Operations Command. And it is known as the most accurate sniper rifle out there. At least that's the word on the street. Now, before I get to the gun and talk about it, what I think you should do is go to cfcontest.com. Good things happen there, you know what I'm saying, right? cfcontest.com, and I realized from the last video, last contest video that we had, I checked the comment section, and a lot of people were asking about the code word. Now, if you wanna know about the code word and watch the entire unedited version of this video, because I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff, you gotta to go to Rumble. Rumble is gonna show you everything unedited, and you're gonna see the code word there too, which is MRAD. Anyways, let's get to the video. Now this weapon system is fantastic. It's got really cool options, really cool specs. But before I talk about that, let's talk about why this is selected as SOCOM's designated sniper rifle. In 2009, SOCOM sent out a memo saying that they are looking for uh, to upgrade their current sniper rifle, which was at that time Remington 700 M24, chambered in 308. It was a phenomenal weapon system. It worked great with 308. But however, 308 had its limitations, and SOCOM wanted to reach out the further distances and also have a round that is got better terminal ballistics, obviously, external ballistics, and barrier blind capabilities because their targets at that time and to this day as well uh, were hiding behind barriers. And they wanted to punch through those intermediate barriers and still deliver some effective punch on target. With that being said, they wanted to up their game, they wanted something bigger like 338 Lapua. 300 Win Mag. Obviously, still keep the 308 because if mission dictated, they still could use that. And they wanted certain, they had certain requirements like being able to change the barrel in the field and all that. So, contract opened and fight began. MRAD threw the name of the hat, so is Remington. And Remington, MSR, Modular Sniper Rifle, won the competition. And in that case, it was awarded the contract. And past 2015, SOCOM decided, you know what, 338 Lapua, 300 Win Mag, phenomenal cartridges, gets the job done, great. However, it was lacking a little bit performance when compared to 300 Norma and 338 Norma. So with that being said, SOCOM was like, you know what, our current sniper rifle, again, Remington MSR, was not, they, they, told, they said that it was not meeting their standards and they needed to up the performance and open the contract again. And this time, MRAD again came out, threw the name in the hat, and gave SOCOM all the requirements that they were looking for, which is, if you guys want to know about, I don't want to bore you in this video, let us know in the comment section so I can talk about all of the requirements, all of the details, how MRAD, what inspired MRAD, and what made MRAD become the SOCOM's designated rifle, sniper rifle. So that way, we're kind of keeping that away from this video. I just wanted to give you a little backstory. But anyways, in uh, 2018, MRAD was awarded the contract, and in 2019, well, won the competition. In 2019, got a whopping $50 million from the government. And today, it is the official sniper rifle of SOCOM. And others are following suit. So, now that's the history. With that being said, let's move on to some of the specs, because I'm pretty sure you want to know all about this gun. I'm very excited to talk about it. So, moving on to, let's talk about the back side over here. Start from the stock. You can see it's a, got a skeleton stock, really slim profile, nice and light. There's a button over here. You press this button and you're able to fold the stock nice and easy. And you can see this bolt handle right here. And this housing just perfectly houses it and clicks right in. It's nice and secure. It doesn't really increase the profile of the gun and it's good. It's good for transportation. It's good for parachuting down for your mission. Obviously, it's great for storing just makes the gun overall smaller. Now, with that, the stock is fully adjustable. We've got a little button over here. You press this button and you can adjust the stock to the length that you wish and also for cheek rest. You can increase it and decrease it. Moving on to, let's see what we talk about. Okay, grip. It's got a traditional AR style grip and the action is super smooth really nice and you can see this this is really cool i really like this it's got a little polymer piece over here when the bolt is i mean the handle is actually up so you can move it back 
it's open so you can actually travel back. When you close it, you close it. The, 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 this little polymer thing just closes and if you're in a harsh environment, it protects your gun, it doesn't get dirty, it doesn't get stuff in there, it doesn't induce any malfunction for you. And moving on, again, you can use any, as I said, any AR-15 grip over here. Fire selector lever, if you see, on the right, there's nothing. It is on the left side for a right-handed shooter, right? However, it's not ambidextrous, but it can be. You just really press this. If you just press hard, wiggle this thing out, this thing comes right out, and you can just put it through over here. It takes 30 seconds, super easy. Again, not able to show everything over here, but there's a button over here. Once you press this button, just like an AR-15 upper, this thing pulls up. You can see the trigger grip. You can see the fire selector lever. You can remove the bolt so easily. It's just, just a few pieces and good to go, which was one of the requirements. Again, I could talk about in a video if you guys are interested. Let us know in the comment section. I can talk about it in detail, but one of the requirements was military SOCOM wanted this thing to be field disassembled or reassembled in under two minutes. And seriously, when I touched this gun, when I opened this thing up, I was amazed how easy it was to just disassemble, remove the barrel and all that, which I'm gonna get to in a second. All right, so there's that. So you can remove the uh, fire selector lever, just safety uh, lever to either side. And when you do that, as soon as the safety uh, fire selector lever comes off, trigger assembly is just a drop in. It's Barrett's trigger assembly. It's good to go, you can just literally take it out. Super easy to clean. If you have a trigger problem for whatever reason, pop in the extra one in there. It takes two seconds, incredibly easy. Now, moving on over here, magazine. Now, magazine is, you can say, fully ambidextrous. You can use your trigger finger, or you can use, I mean, either way. If you're lefty or righty, trigger finger comes right out. And what I like about the magazine is, it is for 338, 300, and 308, same exact size magazine, but completely different uh, cartridges, right? Look inside. This is shortened pretty good for 308. If I had 338, this thing would be fully opened up over here. So same exact size magazine, but these are marked, guys. If you see, there's a C, letter C over here, the letter C over here on either side. This is pretty much foolproof because if you wanted to go ahead and change the barrel, change, well, if you want to change the barrel, you're going to change the bullhead. Bullhead is marked C. C is 308, so A is 338, B is uh, 300, and C is 308. So magazine is marked C, barrel is marked C, and also bullhead is marked C. So if you're gonna get a different barrel, it's gonna come with a bullhead and a magazine. Well, you can get this magazine separate, but they're all gonna be marked, so you're not gonna be able to mess up if you're gonna change your barrel. So with that being said, let's move on to the barrel. There's two bolts over here, if you loosen these up, on either side. Just loosen these up, this barrel comes right out, and you're able to go ahead and put your new preferred barrel. So if you want to go to 338, if you want to go to uh, 300, super easy. And every barrel comes from Barrett with a perfectly head spaced uh, bolt head. And again, they're marked. Moving on, yeah, let me talk about the sling over here that's right in front of me. There are sling attachments. Let me move this around so you guys can see it better. Boom, all right. So this is Tech 10 sling, extremely durable. If you haven't seen our video, we made a video, we did a video actually, with the owner of Tech 10. Check out the description section. It is so good and we love this so much, that's why we put this on this gun. Got a little quick detach sling attachments. So two points over here and two here. So either way, whichever you prefer. And also, if you notice, M-Lock rail, we've got an M-Lock adapter for a quick detach sling attachment. And these things come from Barrett. So when you get this gun, it's in the box. You just put it wherever you want to, the way you wish. And let me see what else I got over here. As I mentioned, full M-Lock rail. The upper is fully monolithic, just one piece. You can just mount whatever you want. You, you're gonna keep your zero perfectly good to go. And it's super durable. And moving down here, we got a little Picatinny attachment. Again, this little Picatinny uh, came with the Barrett. We attach this over here with, and then attach our AccuTac 
bipod, which is known to be one of the best. Again, everything on this gun that we attached, which is the sling, the glass, which I'm gonna get to, the rings, and the bipod, the best, one of the best in the market. And yep, Actac bipod, and moving on to the muzzle device. Just good old, let me move this over here. Just good old break from Barrett. Moving on to the glass. We've got actually Army when it comes to Barrett MRAD. So Army uses loophole Mark 5 HD, which is exactly what we have over here, 5 to 25. And SOCOM uses the um, Night Force Attacker 7 to 35. A little bit different, but same exact gun. And the rings are loophole Mark IV rings. Again, one of the best out there, nicely, tightly attached over here. So overall, when you look at the gun, it is really good. It doesn't weigh much at all. That's the thing. So we fire this thing. It is a pleasure to shoot. Again, word on the street, this is the most accurate sniper rifle out there. I haven't personally tested it, but we've fired it and it is so light. Now, when you grab yourself the Baird 50, right? Baird 50 is heavy. It just is heavy, it's awkward. Fantastic, I love it, one of my favorites. But this is so light. I mean, just under 15 pounds, for, so light for the platform. And because of that, like for, I mean, 15 pounds almost, it has a very, very soft recoil. I was actually surprised, again, this is 308. I was surprised how soft this recoil is. So it's a pleasure to shoot. So with that being said, make sure, again, go to cfcontest.com, guys. CF Contest, good things happen there. You may see some stuff over there. Um, I think you're gonna like what you see there. And the code word, uh, again, MRAD, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Again, let us know in the comment section if you want a full explanation, full MRAD video, the history of MRAD, what it got beat by, on the competitions than what it did and came back and beat who beat it in the past. You get what I'm saying. Anyways, thanks for tuning in guys. We appreciate your business. God bless and we'll see you on the next video.